Good morning, adventurers. So we, we arrived here in Florida, in Fort Lauderdale last night, but we took a little ride to Miami, which is actually only like uh, 30 minutes away. Yeah, so. it's so close. Yeah, I had no idea they were so close. <laughs> But uh, our goal today, we are going to try some delicious Cuban food. Do like a Cuban food tour. Yes. Yeah. We're Followed gonna... by a little brewery tour, yeah. which would be awesome. We're going to be meeting up with our friend David, who we've only met digitally. We're going to meet him in, first, in person for the first time today. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to try a bunch of delicious Cuban food and drink. So yeah, it's going to be our day. Yeah, and he is um, from Miami, so he should have lots of great tips for us. And he recommended this place, so I think that means it's going to be really, really good. And we can't wait. We are headed to a place called Versailles. It was built in 1971 and it is located in Little Havana. It's considered the most famous Cuban restaurant in the world. In the dining room, you can get some delicious Cuban food, but they also have a cafe up front where you can try Cuban coffee and pastries. Guys, we've met up with David. What's up? Yeah, thanks so much for bringing us out today. No problem. He's you got ready? a whole list of dishes here that we're going to be trying. I'm so <laughs> excited. He's taking all the legwork out of it for us. It's Miami, man. I got this whole list set up. So. All right. So Versailles is the most famous Cuban restaurant in the world. They opened their doors in 1971. That's when all the Cubans started immigrating to Miami. And uh, this is a favorite amongst you know politicians, celebrities. Everybody comes here. You can see it's packed and it's only 1130. It's an amazing place. Some food is delicious. You're going to see all this they're coming. We have yuca fries, we have croquetas, these are little deep fried goodnesses with ham in there, and then empanadas. Oh my god. Mm. Good. Good, right? It's like a ham meatball. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks really oh good. Oh my gosh. It's like a deep fried delight. Yeah, look at that. It's all like gooey and delicious in there. Oh yeah. And here we have the yuca, which this is my favorite, for sure. Mm. It looks like a little french fry. Oh my god. Yeah. It's good. It looks like the chips we've been eating all over England. Yeah. Let's give these a try. I'm gonna try it on its own. Man, it's so weird. It's like dense and kind of starchy on the inside. Almost like a potato, but definitely a more little like more rooty. of like a root taste yeah. to it. So media noche, so basically that means the middle of the night. The reason why they call it that is because you're supposed to eat this in the middle of the night, like after you party. It's like, a, yeah. it's good hangover preventer, you know? Yeah. So we should down our mojito and then eat it. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. It's, it's a little heavy, so we'll take it in small bites. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's ham, cheese, pickle, uh, mustard. Is it the classic, like, Cubano sandwich? Yeah, yeah it's classic, classic. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this looks really good. The bread is so flat in there because I guess it's kind of pressed flat when they cook it. Yeah, tons of meat. Oh yeah. Oh, mm. that is excellent. The pickle adds like this like tangy vinegariness to it. Yeah, the cheese is really nice. That's a damn good sandwich. We came to the back room and it was empty when we got here, but this place is very popular, so this whole area has completely filled out. So you there's gonna be a little bit of background noise. It's a Monday too, so you know this place is good if it's happening on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's somebody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> So the food has arrived. We have all sorts of delicious dishes in front of us. We are about to dig in. Right here we have fried pork chunks. We have oxtail. We have ropa vieja, which means old clothing. More beans. Oh, yeah. oh okay. okay. You usually mix that with your rice. Perfect. And, uh, and then, yeah, I think it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we have dessert. We have dessert to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is the oxtail. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Yeah. It just... Yeah. Falls right off of there. Whoa. I'm excited. I have no idea what this sauce is going to be like. Looks like there might be like veggies and garlic and stuff in there. Oh, and lots of fat. <laughs> it looks like pot roast, kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh man. It kind of tastes like, like a really nice, juicy roast. That's what, like, it's really tender and a little stringy. He's got, like, peppers in there. And it's got, like, cinnamon or clove or something. So it's, like, sweet and delicious. Oh, man. That is delicious. Yeah. It's so soft. It falls off the bone. Oh, it's so good. Look at this. Look at all the pork rolls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so these are the tostones or peticones as they're also known. These are basically savory plantains. You cut them up into little pieces, you squish them, and then you fry them. 
and they turn out like these magical little salty delicious pancakes. <laughs> yeah, they might be our favorite deep fried food yeah. ever. We make these at home all the time. So you get some beans on there. That's the key. <laughs> it's just so nice because it's nice and crunchy. It's got this nice mild salty flavor and then you get the bean flavor on top of there. It's just really good. So this is the Ropa Viejo. Uh, basically shredded beef, tomatoes, tomato sauce, we've got peppers in there, onions it looks like, all kinds of goodies. We tried to order this in Cuba and I got really sick that day and I didn't get to eat any of it. So I have never really tried it. Even with the name like shredded clothes or old clothes, <laughs> it is so good. The peppers give it a nice like, not a spice, but kind of like a, a tanginess. Um, and it's in like a tomato sauce, so it's a little acidic, but also sweet. And the meat is just like really salty and tender and delicious. It's pretty perfect. So next up we have these fried pork chunks. I'm gonna give those a try. I'm gonna put a little lime on top first. So I'm not crazy about onions or cilantro, both of which are atop these delicious pork chunks. So I'm going to remove that and just take the meat itself. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't even have to hardly cut <laughs> to get that piece off of there. That's great. Oh, there's a lot of fat in there too. That's excellent. It just kind of like melts away in your mouth. And it's just like a, you know, it's fried pork done pretty much as good as it can be. It's nice and salty and just delicious. Oh man, that might be the best thing yet. Yeah? <laughs> That's just stupidly good. That's just like pure happiness. <laughs> Food and they might think like Mexican and they think it's gonna be spicy, but it, we use a lot of spices, but it's not really necessarily spicy food. Yeah. It's very yeah, this was all very like palatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really savory and like hearty and delicious. Yeah. So this is coconut flan, so a little different. Yeah, okay. And then this is arroz con leche, so rice. It, it's rice pudding basically yeah. with milk. Nice. This is my favorite. You can mix them both, they're really good together. Oh, oh yeah. God, that sounds deadly. So this is the coconut flan. What exactly is flan? I'm not even really sure. It's like custardy. Yeah. It's custard, right? Yeah. It's custardy. Yeah, so you can see it nice and kind of custardy in there. Oh, it smells really good. Oh yeah, it smells really buttery. Yeah. Ooh, it's really buttery. That's like a stick of sweet creamy butter with a little coconut and like little coconut chunks in it. So this is the rice uh, pudding or arroz con leche. Arroz con leche. Yeah. And you can see there's like some cinnamon powdered on the top there. I'm really excited about this because this looks really good. Yeah, there's like a cinnamon aroma emanating from it. Mm. Mm. Oh man. It is so good. It's cold, but like a little bit chill. It's got like this creamy milkiness to it, and you really get a lot of the cinnamon, like dusty cinnamon taste on top. Man, that is my kind of dessert right there, because it's not overly sweet. That's really good. All right, all right. No, don't worry, don't worry, we'll do it. Oh yeah, double it up. A good mix. Oh man. Oh wow. This is a smart man. Wow. Pour it on top. <laughs> we completely destroyed our meal back there, and now we're going to go to the counter up here and get some some of their legit Cuban coffee. So it's uh, four ounces of coffee. So we get little cups. So each one of us gets a little cup. Oh my god. <laughs> You know it's potent when you get a cup this size. <laughs> yeah. Get a sense of the aroma. It smells dark like Whoa. the night. Wow. That's a dark roast indeed. Yeah. Cheers. Woo. Woo. Oh, it's got that sugar in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's sweet. Holy cow. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Really about they like, put sugar in wow. everything. Wow. That is dark and sweet and hot. And, oh. Wow. I feel like it should come with a medical warning saying like, don't take this on an empty stomach. Because I think you would just freak out. That's amazing. So it's half of this guy mixed with the milk. So it's still gonna have some of that nice, sweet, and strong flavor, but 
cut a little bit with the milk. It's the littlest teacup in the land. Oh, now that's just beautiful and delicious. You could drink that all day. This tiny little guy. You got it. This is the kind you have to put your pinky out for. Oh man, that is like a creamy, milky delight. Oh, that's good. That's real good. All right, guys, we're stuffed from all the Cuban food we ate. We came to, uh, what is the name of this area? It's called Winwood. Winwood. Winwood and, Arts District. Yeah, and you can see there's like tons of graffiti all over the place, yeah. some really epic stuff. Yeah, it's more really than cool. I think we've ever seen in one area, and it is awesome. Yeah, David just gave us like a tour of Miami in that Uber ride. Yeah. He was telling us all about the place. Yeah, it was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their most popular one. Yeah. The gateway beer, Ooh. as it were. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's easy to drink. Yeah. 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 That's very nice and light and very fresh. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Before I drink it all? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice that's and refreshing. Like when you're playing board games with friends or something or just chilling, exactly. that's a good one yeah. to just like relax with. Just an all day beer. Yeah. So next up, I'm gonna try the Pops. This is a porter and uh, described as the beer that started this brewery. Yeah. I think because it had won a medal. Is that right? It won a medal, yeah. yeah. Looks pretty good, nice and dark and uh, delicious. You definitely get like a, it's a bit bitter, like a meaty coffee kind of taste to it. Yeah, like, roasted espresso bean kind of action. We're just kind of walking around the neighborhood now and there's all sorts of just insane artwork and we, this is a very lucky occasion because there's a bunch of people actually working on artwork over there and over there. And man, these are some complex pieces, you guys. These must take them quite a bit of time. And you can see he sprays it and then he kind of backs up and takes a look at it to see how it looks. That's a lot of work. We've come to Box Elder, which is like a beer market. It's just down the road from where we were. Um, and we've got a bunch of beers here to try. Yeah, we tried them all over the place. Look at the colors, you guys. They're yeah, so pretty. It's so colorful. And they do them cool in these like little um, tasters instead yeah. of like the flight. So there's a couple we're most excited about. I think that's what we're going to try. So this yes. uh, this one was a blueberry. This is a blueberry. Is it ginger goes or goze? 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 Goze. 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 Okay, so it's let's a, give that one a try because yeah, I think sour ale. It's a, yeah, it'll be a bit it's sour. From California, so it's like we're being going back home. How sour that's, is it? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty sour. It's like a kombucha beer. Is yeah. what it tastes like, dude. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's got a nice like vinegar. Yeah, vinegary, fruity smell. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's amazing. That's that is cool. my kind of sour beer. Yeah. Because it's not super sweet. Ooh, it's no. just got like this hint of It gets of you a little bit back here. Yeah, it's tangy. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a couple more drinks to finish off our time here. Um, we parted ways with David. He had to run, unfortunately. But I think we're going to uh -huh. chill here, sip another beer, head back home, or to our Airbnb anyway. Yeah. Tomorrow, uh, we actually fly home to yeah. St. Louis. Oh, yeah, so we wanted to let you guys know we're going to take a, a, a while off the vlog. We need kind of a a break i think um see Just some family, see family and yeah. be so, home for the holidays so we're not, we're not going to make any christmas videos and plus by the time you're seeing this it's well after christmas anyway so we're just really behind and we need the time off to catch up so we're going to be posting videos like every day i think over the next couple weeks 
But we really hope you enjoyed coming around Miami with us today. It was, I mean, hands down, we couldn't have picked a better like food and beer day. Yeah. It was just fantastic. And make sure you guys head over to David's channel. We're gonna link to him on the screen somewhere yes. in the description below and everything. So subscribe to him. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to us for more videos like this. And I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. All right, good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.